Hello and welcome to Book Chat. I am your host, Author Viviani Moore. Um, we let me just tell you, I have been having some difficulties today um, in um, trying to get the show to broadcast. Um, for one thing, uh, we couldn't get the volume right, and then um, we kept connecting and disconnecting uh, from the uh, from the internet. So. I don't know what's going on, but let me just tell you um, that I know that I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. And no matter what the devil is trying to toss out today, it is just not going to work because apparently he does not want me to tell you what I plan to say today. But you know what? I thank God that he's made it possible for me to be able to do that. And um, I just want to say that I hope that everyone is having a blessed Saturday, having a great weekend um, here in Chattanooga. The weather has just been just beautiful. Um, com- last week was beautiful as well, but the temperatures today is at least 60 <laughs> degrees warmer uh, than it was last weekend. So, you know, I'm not complaining. I wasn't complaining about the cold weather and I'm not going to complain today either. Um, although it is rather um, spring like outside and I know that we are a couple of months uh, ahead of schedule. But, you know, we can't second guess God because we don't know what his will is. We just have to trust him. But anyway, let's move on. I want to give you um, a few URLs before we actually um, start the show today. Uh, the first one is, of course, to my speaker account. And that is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.spreaker.com forward slash user forward slash author Vivian E. Moore. I, I have a new uh, Facebook page and it is fb.me forward slash Vivian E. Moore author. And of course, uh, my other Facebook page is https colon forward slash forward slash www.facebook.com forward slash Vivian E. Moore. Uh, my Twitter handle is God's Property 46. And uh, my lovely Instagram page is https colon forward slash forward slash Instagram dot com forward slash God's property 51. And also, if you want to check out my uh, my Web page and that's on Wix, um, that is http colon forward slash forward slash Vivian E. Moore dot Wix dot com forward slash author Vivian E. Moore. And if you want to shoot me an email um, to make your comments, if you don't want to leave them on uh, on my speaker page or on my Facebook or Twitter page or in any, and even Instagram, um, you can always shoot me an email. Uh, and that is author Vivian E. Moore at Gmail dot com. All right. So now that we have all of that out of the way, let's move on to today's show. Uh, today's um, title is how sweet it is. And the topic is the secret to success. Many who believe it's solely based on what your bank account balance is measure success in this manner. Let's let's check the definition of what many reference books say it is. Um, the in Carter Dictionary states um, it's an achievement of intention, uh, attainment of fame, wealth or power. Something that turns out well and somebody who is successful. All right. So, you know, that's the general definition of what it means. And I pretty much agree with all of these definitions because it is different for everyone. Moreover, I'm there. There is nothing wrong with this way of thinking. However, there is much more to the idea than is given credit. Simply because there are those who don't believe they have achieved their goals if the general consensus doesn't measure up to this specific definition. What I mean by this is, according to polls and figures um, that list um, that list you somewhere uh, below the line of what is deemed successful, uh, some of us fall woefully short. Well, Let me just say that my definition of success isn't measured by the public standard, but a personal one. Firstly, 
if you've completed at least one task on your list of goals in a day's time, to me, that is success. Case in point, God didn't create the world in a day. He took six and he rested on the seventh. Need I say more? And just so you don't think my opinion is one sided, I consulted my favorite tool for information. And we all know that's Google <laughs> to give an equal view on this discussion. And according to um, www.pickthebrain.com, they shared um, 10 topics, but um, I sort of inserted my thoughts uh, on the topics that they shared. So I've listed them for you and, you know, let's let's run through them. Number one, how do you think? How you think, I'm sorry, is everything. Now, I totally agree with this perception because positivity is the key um, to opening every door of opportunity in your life. And number two, decide upon your true dreams and goals. Well, just as I stated earlier, complete a goal each day on your mental or your written list. And trust me, this is a great start. Don't feel like a failure if you don't get to them all. And number three, take action. Now, you as well as I know that you can't be successful if you don't put forth an effort to make it happen. Success is not only a noun, but is an action word too. If you merely dream about it and do nothing to see it to fruition, then you'll never achieve any goal. Number four, never stop learning. You know, I've always said that I don't know everything, but what I do know, I share. You know, this is a goal on my list as well. And you never stop learning. You know, and I need you to remember something because this is very important. A closed mind is like a fist. Nothing can get in or out. Just need to to remember that because that's that's something that's very useful. And number five. Be persistent and work hard. You see, great minds think alike because I've always said this too. And, um, you know, and, and one of my favorite quotes is never give up, never give in, because you have to be persistent in everything you do. Um, life is a battle and every day brings on a new challenge. So, you know, we just have to remember that. You know, sometimes we do have roadblocks, we have hurdles, but, you know, you just have to condition yourself to learn how to leap over those things and go around them because we can't let those things stop us. We have to keep moving. Um, if you are, you know, if you have a set goals that you want to achieve, then, you know, you can't let anything stand in your way. And I know that a lot of things are out of our control but those things that we can control, uh, we need to give it our best and, 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 you know, just do the best that we can. OK, let's move on. Number six, learn to analyze details. Now, this is a very useful detail because we all make mistakes, but we have to learn how not to make the same ones repeatedly. And, you know, sometimes we get a lot of false starts in life or, you know, whatever we we've set out to do, uh, whether it's, um, you know, in business or, uh, you know, in our in our hobbies or our professions, whatever it is. Sometimes, you know, we may get off to a rocky start, but, you know, we have to take note and learn what worked and what didn't work and, you know, and and toss away the things that are not going to be helpful or useful for us. So, you know, we learn as we go and hopefully, you know, we, once we know better, we do better. All right. Number seven, uh, focus your time and money. Well, distractions are a curse and, you know, we've all heard the phrase 
time is money. Well, it's a very it's very true. You know, if you have a goal oriented or if you are a goal oriented individual and and I believe most of us are, then, you know, we have to maintain um, our focus and not let other things pull our attention away from our destinations. And I'll just tell you, you know, I am not a procrastinator. I've never been one of those. Either I'm going to do it or I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to keep saying, well, okay, one of these days I'm going to do that. I'm going to get around to it. I'm going to do it. No, that's not how I operate at all. But let me just say that, you know, when I do write, I am distracted. I will admit it um, because, you know, sometimes I do have a very short attention span. And, um, you know, I, I, while I'm writing, I can't write in silence. And I've told you that before. Um, so I always have to have some type of background noise. And usually it's the television and um, it's turned down, you know, to um, to the lowest volume to where, you know, I can barely hear it. But I know that it's on. And of course, my cell phone is always on. And of course, my iPad is always on. But um you know, and sometimes when I'm writing and, and, and especially if it's a tough scene and it's something that I don't want to deal with right then and there, um, I will sort of like, you know, go chase rabbits <laughs> and, you know, get on social media, check my emails, um, you know, just something to um, to bide my time until I have to go and write those scenes. But then sometimes, you know, I may be in the middle of, of uh, writing out a great scene and lose track of my thoughts um, and do the same thing, you know, that I've done if it's something that I don't want to write or something I don't want to, to deal with right then and right there. So um, you, we have to learn how to stay focused and minimize the distractions because that is not very good. And it keeps us from being um, from being um, what's the word I'm looking for um, from being successful. That wasn't the word I was looking for, but that's the word I'm going to use um, since we're talking about that today. But um, it just keeps you from being productive. That's the word I was looking for. And um, we have to uh, learn not to um, to um, let things capture our attention away from from our true goals, what we're trying to do. And that's in every phase of whatever you do in life. All right. So number eight, don't be afraid to innovate. Now, I could not agree with this one more. Because I've always been a pop of purple in a red in a bed of red flowers, you know that's just me, um, you know. And thinking and being different, it, it isn't a curse; it's a blessing because you know it helps you to stand out from the crowd and to embrace your individuality. And you should embrace your embrace your individu- your individuality because you know God didn't create create us to be carbon copied replicas, but unique. And not defined by what the world says we should be, but by who God says we are. You know, we don't have to be afraid to be different. It's what we need to do to be movers and shakers. Um, You know, I've come across so many people who um, they identify with everybody and that's okay to identify with everybody. But in the midst of that, you have to learn how to maintain your own originality because, you know, you are like a one of a kind work of art. And, you know, there are no duplicates. You know, once once your picture was painted, once God created you, that was it. That was you are who you are. And so, um, you know, I don't like imitations. I love the real thing. I know I sound like a Coke commercial right now, but and that's an old Coke commercial too. I'm giving away my age, but um still I just think originality is good and individuality is good. You know, I can only be who I am and that's just me. So and I and I hope and, and wish that everyone else would do the same. All right, so number nine, deal and communicate with people effectively. Now This is one of the reasons why I do this weekly show um, to offer advice as well, motivate, uplift and inspire. And, you know, what I say holds great import. And if I share information haphazardly, imagine the disaster this could generate. Therefore, I try to give the good as well, the bad with consideration Uh, And to offer positive instruction as well opinions in an informative way. 
Um, I don't want to, um, I don't ever want to discourage anyone because people have tried to discourage me in the past um, by saying things um, to make me second guess myself. And, you know, sometimes we are our own worst critic. And, you know, if you listen to the negative things that people say, then, you know, that can just halt your process completely. And what you have to learn how to do is, you know, even when you when you're giving out constructive criticism, you have to learn how to still do it in a motivating kind of way uh, to let them know that you're criticizing because you see the potential in what they do and in who they are. And you just want to make them better. You know, you just want to um, cut off all the rough edges so everything will be smooth and work in in perfect order. So, you know, we always want to keep that in mind no matter what. Uh, be careful of what you say and how you say it because it does make a difference. And, you know, everybody do, is not Teflon coated. And um, so, you know, some of the things that, that we say will stick and it will penetrate. And, you know, sometimes it can destroy a person because everybody's not strong. You know, everybody doesn't have that, that type of constitution where, you know, they just don't let things bother them. And, um, you know, and I, I, I am strong, you know, to a certain extent, but, but still, you know, I'm just like everybody else. I'm human. And, you know, sometimes people say things, um, they do things that, um, that bothers me and I can admit that, but you know what I've learned to do is to not let it hold me back. If anything, it motivates me because if you tell me I can't do something, you know, I'm not the type that'll try to prove anybody wrong because I don't have anything to prove, first of all. But that motivates me to keep moving forward to prove to myself that what they said is not true and that I can rise above it. And that's what I want you to do as well. All right. So number 10, be honest and dependable. Honesty is still and always will be the best policy. People will respect you more for telling them the truth instead of feeding their egos. You know, if I'm doing a great job, tell me so. And if not so much, tell me so. <laughs> I'd rather know the truth than live my life surrounded by people who are dishonest and distrustful. Dependability is your stamp or your trademark. And, you know, it's much like what you say because your word is bond. You know, this is your link to building a lasting relationship with others, um, especially those who might not know you well, but they want to get to know you. You know, my pastor always says that the first mentioned uh, principle of how a person begins in a story is what they maintain throughout. You know, in, in other words, if you start out being truthful and dependable, chances are you won't stray from this path. You know, regardless of what um, the web and, and other sources for information say, success is whatever you deem it to be. You know, and, and what I've learned about success is that um, it's not measured by growth, wealth or even popularity. Success is more than a materialistic mentality, but definitely a state of mind and, and an orientation of goals. You know, not only for the person leading the charge, but also those that stand with us, encouraging through prayer and moral support and sometimes tough love. You know, when we lose sight of those who propelled us forward uh, and, uh, and on our quest um, due to tunnel vision, that is loss of peripheral sight, then what have we gained? You know, I challenge those. Um, with the passion and desire to succeed, um, to not only reach forward, but to extend a hand backward to the people who helped us on our journey. For all the persons who offered motivation, prayer, and even constructive criticism, I thank you. You know, it's because of you that I remain humble, driven, and able to continue to do what I love. And I do love doing this show on a weekly basis. Um, I do love writing. I do love reading. And, um, you know, I, I have a passion for it. I'm driven by it. And, you know, and, and not so much to where I'm the only thing that matters because, 
you know, all those people with the same passions that I have, you know, I am their biggest cheerleader. I'm rooting for them just like people rooted for me. And that's what it's all about. You know, we have to um, lend a helping hand to our brothers and sisters, you know, who are striving just like we are. You know, and as I said before, we might not all get there together, but the goal is to get there, you know. And so we have to make that happen um, any way that we can. You know, we have to support each other. We have to support, um, you know, what we do as writers and as, as and as authors and as people, um, you know, and I think as people should be at the top of the list, that should be the first thing, you know, that we need to identify with. And then everything else will fall into line after that. But, you know, we, we have to learn how not to be selfish, how not to just let, um, you know, our success be that, you know, be just that. We need to learn how to want to um, um, help other people to become successful as well. And again, that's why I said I do this weekly show and um, I try to um, uplift, and motivate and inspire um, in every way possible that I can. You know, when I when I'm um, thinking about the topics that I'm going to discuss on the show, um, I try to put it in a, you know, put it in a in a in a fashion that, um, you know, that that will be helpful um, and, um, and and give you something to look back on. So um, what I do is I, I do write a script for the show and I mostly do it because, you know, this is my 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 uh, podcast. It's a blog. But um, I also have a, a written blog on Blogger. And so what I do is um, I upload um, all of the scripts that I've written uh, for the shows. And this one will go up, too, um, as soon as the show is over. Uh, I uplift it. Um, I uh, upload it um, to um, to Blogger. So um, if you ever want to go out there and look at all the transcripts of the shows that I've done uh, over these past months, then uh, please feel free to do so. Um, you can just look me up, Vivian, anymore on Blogger, and you should be able to find me. Um, it's it's pretty simple, and then you'll see all of the all of the um, the blogs that I've put up uh, thus far. Um, and also, I uh, upload all of the um, all of these uh, podcasts, these um, episodes to um, all of all the social media channels: Facebook, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, um, Instagram, uh, Pinterest. Um, you name it, it's out there. Uh, um, I, I also think YouTube as well. So um, if you stumble, I just want to tell you this, if you stumble across, uh, if you do go to YouTube today and you stumble across some of the episodes that I loaded, uploaded earlier, please disregard them because they don't have anything on them but music. Because as I said before, at the beginning of, of the show, I was having some technical difficulties. So um, I deleted uh, those episodes and uploaded a new one. But I'm pretty sure those will be out there because they go out automatically. So um, I just want you to, to know that if you do stumble across it, it may be two, maybe three. I'm not sure. But anyway, we got the problems fixed from early. I'm so thankful for that. Because I, I was looking forward to doing this show and I was glad that I was able to to broadcast it um, after having so many difficulties um, at the beginning of it. But um, as I said, you know, I, I, I always look forward to um, every Saturday at 6 p.m. Um, to do this show. Um, and two, I just want to mention, um, you know, aside from the show that uh, I got an uh, email yesterday um, to let me know that my books are now um, in stock. And on the shelves at uh, Barnes and Noble, so I am super excited about that. And uh, I just want to um, um, to let you know also that uh, if you are on social media, especially Facebook, um, that um, that there are uh, different thirty second uh, commercials out there about the um, about the book. Um, so um, if you if you want to read it, I hope you do. I, it, the book is doing well, but uh, and I and I invite you to. Um, to go out on Amazon because it is on sale out there or either go to the bookstore um, and, uh, and and purchase it as If Tomorrow Comes, Requiem, and that's book one. And hopefully book two uh, will be out sometimes this year. Um, as I said before, it's already written, but uh, it, you know, it just, it has to go through the process just like the first book. So, and that always takes time, but um, you know, but the end result is always the best part for me. Um, because I, I want to share what I've written with everyone and I want you to enjoy it as much as I do. Well, um, we're coming down to the last minutes of the show today and, um, 
I just want to uh, to let you know that I do appreciate you so much. I thank you for listening to the show. Um, I know I still don't have a lot of followers, but that's okay. You know, as long as you're listening, that's all that matters to me, whether you follow the show, um, you know, on a weekly basis or not. Um, I do appreciate those people who have been listening because now I'm, I'm past 500, uh, close to 530. I may be over that uh, listens uh, of the of the shows, of the episodes that have uh, gone out already. So to me, that is a great accomplishment. Um, that is a goal that I didn't even set, but I've reached a goal. And I, and I thank you so much for helping me do that. And I hope that you will continue to listen to the show, um, continue to tell other people about it because, you know, like I said, I, I'm just trying to help in any way that I can. I'm trying to give back um, any way that I can because, you know, you never know who needs to pick me up or someone to be encouraged and so that that's especially what I try to do what and tomorrow is worship day. And I hope for those who don't have a church home that, you know, you will go to church with a family member, with a friend, um, you know, and, and if you do have a church home, invite somebody to come to church with you tomorrow. And uh, because, you know, even though I, 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 I am a writer, I'm an author and I do this show, I'm a Christian first and foremost. And, you know, and I do love fellowshipping uh, with my brothers and sisters in Christ. That's important to me. And, you know, I always try to um, uh, impart that uh, in all of my shows to let you know that, um, you know, that's that's who I am as a person. That's where I stand um, as an individual. And God is first in my life. And, you know, regardless of those who may not want to hear it, I'm going to say it anyway, because I, you know, I have to let people know, first and foremost, that I am a follower and, um, you know, in it, all things has to come through God and he has blessed me so much and to not tell people about him and to encourage them to have a relationship with him, then I would be remiss in that. So I wouldn't be doing what God has, has appointed for me to do because I do see this show, um, you know, as a, as a, um, it, it's a mission for me. It really is. It's a ministry, um, that I so love doing, uh, every weekend. And, um, and I thank God for put placing it on my heart to do this show many months ago. And it has come a long way since then. Um, and so I, I just want to continue um, to bless somebody because he's blessed me, but you know, you need to tell someone that you love them because tomorrow is not promised. So if you get the opportunity today to tell them, please do so. I love you. I hope you love me back. Um, I look forward to talking with you again next Saturday at 6 p.m. on Book Chat without the Vivian anymore. Until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend. God bless and goodbye.